What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Here in today's episode, I wanted to talk some Carolina Hurricanes hockey. In particular, I wanted to discuss the fantastic season that Martin Nietzsche is putting together so far. As a lot of you guys know, this past offseason, there's a lot of talk about whether or not this guy should be dealt. Does he need a fresh start? Is he ever going to take that next step that uh, a lot of people thought he would have by now? And at age 23 here this season, he does seem to be taking his game to the next level. So I'm really, really glad he did not get dealt in the offseason. I'm glad that we locked him up for a two-year deal, and I'm really hopeful that this guy continues to progress in the way he is. And if he does, we need to lock this guy up long-term. He's going to be a fantastic, fantastic hockey player. So before we get into everything, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you guys check out the description box below, you'll find the link to my Teespring store. You will also find today's sponsor, which is Arcadian Fantastic Goat's Milk Soap. There's a men's line of products, a women's line of products, there's body sprays and beard oils and you name it, fantastic products. If you use my code JeremyPOV10, you can save 10% off your order today. And once again, all the links are in the description box. So let's go ahead, let's have a bit of a talk here about Martin Nietzsche. So, Martin Nietzsche, he's a six foot two center, also plays wing. In particular, he's been bouncing around between the two. He has been taking faceoffs this season, but he does primarily play on the wing. He's bounced around between some of the lines this season. But this guy is, like I said, he's 23, six foot two, around 190 pounds. And prior to this season, let's take a peek here. So in 26 games this season, he's got 28 points, 12 goals, 16 assists. Now, if you compare that, to last season, which last season was his first almost complete 82-game season. He played 78 games, had 14 goals, 26 assists, 40 points total. Prior to that, he had a 53-game season, which he put up 41 points. And the year before that, he had 64 games, which he put up 36 points and was a minus 6 overall. So obviously, when you guys take a look at these numbers, I mean, right now, he is on pace to shatter his career best of 41 points. Uh, he's already got 12 goals. His career best was 16 back in 2019-2020. And right now he's got 16 assists. His best uh, season for assists was in 2020-2021, which he had 27. So here in only 26 games, I mean, this guy right now, let me do the math in my head. I mean, he's on pace for anywhere between 80 to 100 points this season. At 26 games, 28 points, he's averaging over a point a game. And, I mean, he's been absolutely unbelievable. I mean, he has really taken his game to the next level. And, I mean, just looking in the last few games, against Anaheim, he was a plus one. He did not have any assists or points. But prior to that, he had two points against the Kings. He had a point against St. Louis, a point against Pittsburgh, uh, a point against Calgary. I mean, he's just been consistent, consistent, consistent. He's getting anywhere between 19 and 22 minutes a game. And, I mean, for a first-round pick at 23 years of age, this is exactly what we wanted to see. This is what we hoped for out of Martin Nietzsche. We always knew Martin Nietzsche had phenomenal skating. He can skate and move with the best of them out there. He makes guys look silly. I mean, this guy is like a figure skater out there on the ice. He blows past defenders. He's got crazy moves. And now this year, I feel like you can finally see him playing with the confidence that he hasn't had in years past. He's got more confidence in his shot. He's got more confidence in his playmaking ability. And I really think confidence is the big step that has allowed him, you know, it's, it's the big piece that allowed him to take that next step this season. Last season, he had spurts of brilliance, and then especially later on in the season and into the playoffs, he all but disappeared. And I think he is very, I know I keep saying confidence, but I think a lot of his game, it's been mental. He's always had the skills. He's always had the skating. And now his shot is catching up to where it needs to be. And and his decision-making, his two-way game. That's another big thing I don't think enough people discuss is I've been watching all the Hurricanes games this season. I mean, I don't typically miss a single game. And you can tell that Martin Nietzsche wants to be a two-way player. He wants to be like Sebastian Ajo. He is not at Sebastian Ajo's level when it comes to being a two-way player, but Martin Nietzsche has really started to make strides uh, since last season into this season 
in his defensive liability. He's making much smarter decisions in his own zone. He's getting the puck out there properly. He's not taking these big risks that cause turnovers at the blue line or cause breakaways for the other team. He's doing a lot of really smart things. He's really finishing his checks. He's really finishing his shift. That's another big thing. In years past, he wouldn't do stuff like that. But now when he's at the end of his shift, if he's got the puck, he makes sure he gets it sent in deep so that they can get a line change. He's doing all the small things that you need to do in order to take your game to the next level, in order to be as consistent as he's being this year. And as a fan of the Hurricanes, I'm absolutely loving this. I'm also starting to really, really regret the Just Barry Kokanyemi deal. The fact that we locked that guy up for seven, eight years at, at the money we did, we can only hope and pray that in the next couple of years, Kokanyemi is able to take that next step because he's having an absolute atrocious season, whereas Nietzsche is the guy that really should have that Kokanyemi deal. Nietzsche should have been the one that got wrapped up for the seven, eight years at 4.5 or whatever. Whatever Kokanyemi was wrapped up at, I know it's at four point something, somewhere between four and five million a year. Nietzsche is the one that we should have wrapped up. And, and I'm really hoping it's not something that bites us in the ass down the line. I really hope that that Kokanyemi deal works out. I'm a fan of the Hurricanes, obviously, so I want every deal to work out, you know, for the best, for the team, for the future. But Martin Nietzsche, I am so glad we've got him on this team. He has been one of the shining points of this of this season. I mean, he's been one of the high points. He's been phenomenal, and I hope that he's able to maintain this for all 82 games. And I really do hope that he gets an 80 to 100 point season. I mean, imagine if this guy broke 100 points this year. I mean, Andrei Svechnikov still hasn't managed to do that. But Martin Nietzsche, he's, he's on pace. He's on pace. I mean, if he doesn't go through some major droughts this season, this guy's going to hit at least 90 points this season. And he's looking at I mean, let's let me do the math in my head. I mean, he's looking at 40 to 50 goals at the pace that he's at right now, which is just unbelievable. I'm going to say he's probably going to get somewhere between 30 and 40 goals and probably somewhere between uh, 40 and 50 assists, which will get him to that 90 points. And I hope that he continues it into the playoffs and this team continues to uh, build, you know, uh, We've had some rough stretches this year. We've had some struggles getting the power play going, but it feels like the team is finally starting to gel a little bit better. You know, we got uh, Tara Vinen back, which was big, and when we get Patch Ready back at the end of the year, uh, I just, I've got a lot of high hopes. Also, Pyotr Kachekov, I can't make a video without giving him praise. The kid's fantastic, and I said in videos past, that Kochekov is the future in net. I'm so glad we locked him up for a four-year, $2 million deal. And really, if he keeps playing the way he's playing, even when Freddie comes back, I don't know how you could take Kochekov out. I, I don't know how you could make him the number two or send him back down to the AHL. I think there's going to be some goalie controversy this year in Carolina, especially if Freddie comes back healthy here at some point soon, and you've got Antti, and you've got Kochekov. Who do you go with? And right now, Kochekov has been fantastic. Has he been lights out? No. But he does not let, you know, goals affect him. He He's ice cold. He moves on from getting scored. You know, they'll score a goal, and the guy literally puts it behind him, moves on to the next one. He's the type of goalie that doesn't get over-emotional out there. He doesn't let tough stretches affect him, ultimately. He puts it behind him. And he laces up his work boots and he continues to push forward. And he's been unbelievable. Unbelievable at anticipating the plays. He's got fantastic movement. And his game's only going to get better at the age that he's at. I mean, he's still getting used to playing in the United States. He's still getting used to the speed of the NHL. And the fact that he's played as well as he has so far... I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, obviously, I've gotten a bit off topic here. This video was mostly supposed to be about Martin Nietzsche and the fantastic season he's having. But you guys, 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, have you guys really enjoyed you know, getting to see the work that Nietzsche has done this year? Are you guys surprised he's been able to take this next step? And do you guys think he's going to be able to maintain it for the rest of the season? Uh, like I said, big Hurricanes fan. Go Hurricanes. And uh, you guys like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Until next time, peace.